Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and join me today for this video where we'll go step by step through my meal prep and also the thought process on how I meal plan my meal prep. So when I start planning my meal prep, the first thing I think about is what sounds good? What do I want to eat this week? And the second thing I do is look in my fridge and see is there anything that I need to use up or what can contribute to my meal prep that's already in my fridge. And then I'll make a grocery list and go grocery shop, which I did all of that yesterday. <laughs> The biggest problem I have with meal prep is that I usually want to make too much. I usually have too many ideas, so for me it's about reining myself in so I'm not making too much food for just me. When I started planning this meal prep and thought, what sounds good to eat this week, the first thing that came to mind was soup. And I have a lot of different soup ideas, I'm a big fan of soup, but today I am going to make broccoli potato cheese soup. So that soup will have my potato cheese as its base and I'm going to make a big batch of potato cheese and also put together a batch of my cheesy hash brown casserole to have for breakfast. Then when I was looking at what I already have on hand for this meal prep, I have an acorn squash in my fridge and I remembered a really good recipe from a year or two ago where I did a stuffed acorn squash. Last time I did it with like a wild rice mixture, but I think it would be great with my quinoa taco mix stuffed inside of it and like enchilada sauce or salsa or something like that on top to make it more Mexican style. So I'm going to save myself time in this meal prep and I'm not going to do a fresh batch of my taco mix, but I'm gonna take one of my containers out of the freezer and I mentioned this before that the quinoa taco mix, I think it freezes really well and so I'm gonna save myself a good 30 minutes in this meal prep by using a frozen mixture. So that will give me the cheesy hash brown casserole for breakfast, the broccoli cheese soup for lunch, the stuffed squash for dinner, and then for my fourth option, I'm going to marinate some portobello mushrooms. I like to just saute those in a little water or veggie broth in a pan and have them with like mashed potatoes and a green vegetable. So my plan is to have enough potatoes in my Instant Pot, then I could have that big batch of potato cheese, part for the casserole, part for the soup, and also enough extra potatoes on the side that I can mix those up with some riced cauliflower and have that to go with my mushrooms and asparagus. Okay, I was forgetting my vegetables. So I have asparagus like I just mentioned. I also have vegetables to make a stir fry, kale, broccoli coleslaw, peppers, onion, and then I have a big bag of broccoli, so part of that can go in the stir fry, part of that can go in the soup, and part of that can just be left over on the side to go with the mushrooms and the mashed potatoes. I mentioned I'll be mixing riced cauliflower with the mashed potatoes. I'll also be putting some of that riced cauliflower into the broccoli cheese soup. It kind of sounds like a lot, but I think it'll all kind of come together pretty easily. And because I'm not making that quinoa taco mix, that's going to save a good 30 minutes. So step one will be getting my carrots and potatoes in the Instant Pot. I still need to like wash and peel my potatoes. And step two, get my acorn squash in the oven. And then third, I'm going to prep my kale and broccoli and all that stuff for the stir fry and get those veggies sauteing in some water on the stove. While I'm doing some of this initial kind of prep work, I'll also get a thing of taco mix out of my freezer defrosting in the microwave. So first things first, I'll get my carrots and potatoes into my Instant Pot. I'm going to do at least a five pound bag of potatoes. If I can fit more potatoes in the Instant Pot, we're just gonna fill it up. <laughs> Still on step one of meal prep and already needing to make a few adjustments. So I thought I had a lot more potatoes than I did. I only had one five pound bag. So I peeled all of those, only filled up about half my Instant Pot. So what I'm going to do is these potatoes, a full bag of baby cut carrots, and then I'm going to add the entire bag of riced cauliflower to the potatoes and carrots and make my cheese sauce that way. 
So essentially just using the riced cauliflower to make the cheese batch bigger. So I'm gonna get these potatoes and carrots pressure cooking. So I think I'm just going to pressure cook this as normal. Do the riced cauliflower in the microwave. And then I'll add the two of them together with the spices, blend up the cheese sauce. It is just after 11 a.m. These are gonna take like at least 30 minutes. So now I'm going to preheat the oven, scoop the seeds out of my acorn squash, and then start prepping things like the kale and the broccoli to cook the stir fry. It is now just after 11.30, so it's been about 30 minutes since I started. The Instant Pot is done. I'm gonna let that sit with its keep warm setting because I still need to cook the cauliflower rice. I also forgot to defrost the taco mix, so I'm gonna get the cauliflower rice in the microwave first. I think that only steams for about five minutes. And then I'll get this defrosting because I wanna get the potato cheese mixed up. That's more of a priority than stuffing the squashes with the taco mix. I put the squashes in for 30 minutes, so they should only need five to 10 minutes with this stuffing inside them. My stir fry is cooking on the oven right now. That should be done at the same time that the squashes are ready to come out of the oven. I didn't even have room for broccoli in the stir fry after I did all that kale and the broccoli coleslaw. So I'll have a lot of broccoli for my soup and enough to have some left over, which I love. So priority is get that cauliflower cooked so I can get my cheese sauce mixed up. Then I can put together the hash brown casserole, get that in the oven, and get the soup on the stove. My plan for the soup is to steam some broccoli and some carrots on the stove and then add the cheese sauce. And I probably forgot to mention this. I want to pull out two or three potatoes out of here that I can kind of chop up and have a chunkier potato in the soup as well so it's not all super blended. All right, on we go. Date time. Squash is done out of the oven. The stir fry veggies back here are done. Right here is where I have the broccoli and carrots. I'm gonna say that's done. <laughs> Turn this off. I cooked the broccoli and carrots for about six minutes just so they are not raw when I go to make my soup. So now I'm ready to add the cauliflower rice to the potatoes and carrots and blend up the cheese sauce. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna take a couple potatoes out so that I can have some bigger potato chunks in the soup. There's still quite a bit of water in my Instant Pot. I decided that was fine if the cheese was a little on the thinner side since most of it would be soup anyways. 
but as soon as I add the cauliflower, it really doesn't look like too much water at all. Now I'm gonna add my spices, blend this up with my immersion blender to make my cheese sauce. I'll post a link to my full recipe with all the measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is like double the batch size that I normally make, which is what I wanted. As soon as I get this blended up, I'm gonna mix this with my frozen hash browns, get my cheesy hash brown casserole in the oven, and then I will work on putting together my stuffed squashes and my soup. And the only thing I have left to do is get my mushrooms marinating. So this meal prep's going a lot quicker than I expected it to. to the end, basically all I need to do is put my soup together and put things away. Oh, and I need to get the mushrooms marinating. Here are the potatoes I set aside. I'm just gonna chop those up a little bit. I just want them to be a little bit chunky in the soup. Then I'm gonna add those potatoes and the potato cheese into these vegetables that I steamed. There is the timer for the squash. Let me pull that out of the oven. Here's the squash is out of the oven. I just ended up doing tomatoes with green chilies as the topping on them. Maybe I'll add some of the potato cheese sauce on top of those as well. So anyways, gonna get the soup put together, get the mushrooms marinating, and just about done. It is now 10 to one, and I am totally done with my meal prep. I am shocked I got this done in under two hours. The cheesy hash brown casserole has three minutes to go in the oven, and everything else is done. Penny, I just need to finish my video. Penny, please. Penny, please. 
So for the non-starchy parts of this meal prep, I have my asparagus, which in case you didn't know, if you put your asparagus in jars of water like this, keep the ends hydrated, it stays good so long. I've definitely kept it in the fridge like this for over a week. And then I ended up with quite a bit of broccoli still left over to have steamed. I have a huge portion of the stir fry vegetables. So I don't do any seasoning when I cook these, but then when I eat them, I'll add some soy sauce or teriyaki or something to give it a little flavor. So lots of those vegetables. And then I have the mushrooms marinating. I'll probably marinate these at least two days before I cook them. All I did for the marinade was a little bit of maple syrup, garlic powder, and liquid smoke. Sometimes I might also do soy sauce or brown sugar, just kind of depends. To me, it's the liquid smoke that is the critical component to give these the flavor I like. And then for my starches for this meal prep, I have quite a bit of my potato cheese left over. So I could put this on top of the stir fry vegetables as well, or with the steamed broccoli, or with the leftover taco mix that I defrosted. And then I have my stuffed squash, so I'm gonna put a portion of that away. And then I think I'm gonna try eating some of this one for lunch. So I might put some of that potato cheese right on this too. I think that'll be good. And then my soup, let me show you a close up of my soup. This is without a doubt, one of the best soups I've ever made. It smells so good, it tastes so good. And this is the texture I like. I like it to have some chunks. And the cheesy hash brown casserole's done. Let me show you that. And here's the cheesy hash brown casserole fresh out of the oven. This smells really good too. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Be well. Thank you.